everybody, my name's Liz, I'm the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today is another episode of my Sunday Sewing Catch Up and we're on episode 44. As usual, I've got a bumper selection of things to share with you, including some new makes, uh, some fabric, a pattern, some labels, a sewing challenge and lots of other things. Um, so before I dive into that and before I tell you what I'm wearing, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that commented on my um, video last Sunday. Um, I talked quite openly about the fact that May was a really difficult month and we had lots of challenges going on at home and in my personal life and also just that feeling of um, sort of comparing yourself to other people. I got lots and lots of really lovely comments so thank you so much to everybody that commented on that video or took the time to send me a message over on Instagram. I really do appreciate all of your support and all of your lovely messages. I will go back and reply to all of you very very soon I promise. Um, I'll be really honest, life is quite hectic at the moment. The summer term is so busy in school. Um, this half term I've got all of the transition things thinking about the current children I'm teaching but also the new children we're getting it's report season so I'm in the middle of reading other people's reports finishing off my own reports as in um, sort of tweaking them and, and editing them and all that kind of thing we've got sports day coming up we've got trips there's so much going on that by the end of the school day I'm absolutely exhausted um, and my time is going into editing videos and getting them uploaded at the moment so I promise I will go back and reply to all of your comments I do read them I'm just really sorry that I haven't got the time at the moment to reply to them all I can see the summer holidays just in the distance and I will have a lot more time where I can reply to comments so I will get back to you but I just want to say thank you so much I really do appreciate all of your support. So on to what I'm wearing this is a dress that I made last year it's the So Love Patterns spring dress I absolutely love it I did have to tweak the fit on this this was almost like a wearable toile and it now fits me really well when I first sewed it up you've got this deep V and then sort of the way that the pattern is, it sort of um, goes underneath your um, sort of where your boobs are, basically. And then you end up with this waistband that's like a V here and it's quite thick. Um, I had a huge amount of gaping here, so I did have to tweak the pattern, bring it in ever so slightly, tweak the fit under my bust here as well. Love the sleeves. I love a poofy sleeve. Um, I know I go on, on about that loads on my channel, but I do love a poofy sleeve. And it's finished with elastic. Um, I really love this V neckline because it doesn't feel too exposed, but it also is quite a pretty neckline as well. And I really love that it's close fitting on the bodice. And then if I stand up, there's different skirt options. I've just gone for quite a straight skirt and then it's got this um, sort of slit up the front as well. Um, and then it's also got a side zip, which you can't see, it's an invisible side zip. I absolutely love this dress. Um, this fabric was from Minerva Fabrics, um, paid for it, it wasn't given to me or anything, I don't blog for them. Um, but it's a really lovely lightweight cotton poplin. Um, I wore this to, um, I went for lunch yesterday with my husband as part of my birthday celebrations. Talked about that last weekend because I love a birthday and I'm eking it out as much as I possibly can. Um, I've got celebrations in the week with my family and um, I'll be celebrating at school with the children because they love a birthday. Um, and I'll be going out with friends and then next weekend we're going to go to the zoo which I'm really excited about. Um, but yeah I wore this yesterday for lunch um, and I just felt really lovely in it and it's lovely and sunny at the moment so I thought I'd pop it on for this video so I can talk a little bit more about it. I will put pictures in of me wearing it and I'll also link the pattern down below. So that is what I'm wearing. Um, I have got a bit of a sore throat and I'm really suffering with hay fever at the moment so I might have to keep pausing this video if I have to sneeze. Um, I'm taking antihistamines, I've got a nasal spray, but nothing seems to be touching it. Um, so I have got a little bit of a sore throat, but I know it's from all the sneezing and coughing that I'm doing with hay fever. So apologies for that. So on to what I've been sewing up this week. So I talked last Sunday about wanting to make a few summer dresses inspired by Brogan, who is on the sewing bee at the moment, and she's got a YouTube channel, which I linked last weekend. I'll pop a link to her channel if you haven't been over there yet, but I'm sure you have. Um, she shared a t tutorial on how to create like a tiered um, like summer dress, gathered summer dress. Um, and I had to go at drafting my own pattern following some of the instructions that um, Brogan shared. And then also using the, um, oh, what's the pattern called? It's a Helen's Closet pattern. Um, oh, the name's completely escaped me, but it's a really lovely summer dress. If I remember it, I'll put a picture in of what it looks like. But I used the top of that summer dress. So I used the 
bodice of that pattern that I can't remember the name of and then I just created some tiers so three tiers but actually on two of the dresses I've decided to stop at two tiers two of the dresses I've gone full maxi length and the first one that I shared with you was a lemon and lime inspired um, summer dress that I needed to um, sort of adjust the tiers or adjust the bodice and I also needed to adjust the bust darts and I've managed to do all of that so that dress is finished and I'll grab that in a second and then I can talk through the changes that I need to make needed to make to make them fit me. I'm really sorry, I'm struggling to get my words out today. Um, and then I had two gingham fabrics that I wanted to turn into summer dresses and then a strawberry print one. So I'm just going to grab them and then I can talk through what I did for them. So it's on a hanger. It's a very long dress because it's like a maxi length, but this was the dress that was nearly finished. I just needed to adjust a few things because it was super long on me. Um, and this was acting as a wearable twirl and I'm really pleased that I've managed to tweak the fit so it fits me really nicely. So this is a dress that I'm going to be able to wear. It's got these gorgeous long ties on the shoulders and then it's got bust darts here. Uh, it's quite a square neckline, front and back. Um, lots of people suggested about reducing the length of the bodice and I did do that. I took a couple of centimetres off the bodice but then I also adjusted the tiers. It's not quite worked out Oops. it's not quite worked out perfectly in terms of the length of the tiers the first tier and the second tier are similar lengths the bottom tier is probably about an, uh, a centimeter and a half shorter than the other two but i don't think it matters because of all the gathering um but yeah you can see that this bottom tier is slightly shorter than that one i could take some more length of this one but i don't think i will because i'm quite happy with the length now um, but this is what it looks like. It's, I've gone for like a lemon and lime themed maxi dress. And that's what it looks like on the back. And then this has got the bust darts, which I needed to adjust because they were too high on me. So I have managed to lower the bust darts so it sits much nicer on my bodice. Um, and I'm really pleased with this. I'm looking forward to getting lots of wear out of it um, in the summertime as well. I don't think I'll wear this to work because it's a maxi length and I worry that when I'm crouched down, I'll end up getting stuck or somebody will step on it or something. I think it's a bit too long for work. Um, but it's a really lovely summer dress that I'll get lots and lots of wear out of. And it makes me feel really good about myself as well. And it's perfect for swishing in. I'll put a video in of me twirling in this dress just so you can see what it looks like. I do love a skirt that's really swishy. And I've been really enjoying sewing these up because they're quite straightforward dresses to think about. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I've got loads of stuff going on with work, loads of stuff going on with family and things. So at the moment, I know that sewing's really good for my mental health and well-being. It helps me to switch off. Um, I find it quite relaxing and really calming as well. Um, but I haven't got the headspace to do really complicated patterns at the moment. So I've been really enjoying sewing things that I really love to wear make me feel really good about myself and are quite straightforward as well. So these dresses have provided the perfect distraction. So then I've got the strawberry print one and then what I decided to do with this one is I've just gone for two tiers on the skirt and it's a really cute length for the summer. So I've got exactly the same bodice and it's got bust darts and they sit in a really nice place. These straps are quite thick in comparison to the first dress that I sewed up. Um, because I just had a bit more fabric and then there are the tears and I think it's a really cute summer dress. I love this fabric, I think it's perfect for the summer so I'm really looking forward to wearing that one. And then the green gingham which I thought originally I was going to turn into a maxi dress like the lemon and lime one but actually when I tried it on with just two tears I really loved the length of it. Um, so this one's exactly the same as the summer like strawberry print one. It's got the thick straps. There are random um, sort of threads that I still need to snip. Uh, but yeah, that's the front with the same uh, bust darts. And then it's got the same length skirt. So I've just got two tiers of fabric for this one. Really lovely and gathered and super swishy. I've got videos of me twirling in all of these. So I'll put them in so you can see what they look like. And then the final one is a lilac gingham and I went full maxi with this one and I'm really glad that I did. This feels like a lighter fabric than the other two. The other two are still quite light but this one just feels a little bit more delicate um, and I think it works really nicely. I've got loads of threads that I need to snip off but I think it works really nicely in this lilac gingham. So it's got the same bodice, the same ties but then I've got the three tiers for this one. Um, really gathered on that bottom tier and that middle tier as well. 
So I've got some really cute summer dresses that will be perfect for when the weather's really warm. They're quite loose fitting, which will be perfect when I'm feeling quite hot as well. And I'm really loving gingham at the moment. Um, I've got some ideas in my head to do like a, um, almost like a rainbow type gingham dress, um, using different colors of gingham and using quite narrow tiers. So I've got an idea in my head, I just need to find the perfect gingham in all the different colors of the rainbow. So I'm off shopping later on today to see if I can find some. So that's all of the things that I've been sewing. Um, I had one dress that was almost finished and I just needed to make some adjustments. And then the other three um, I've sewn up across the week. But because they're all in a gingham or a white cotton poplin, I've been able to use the same colour thread on my sewing machine. And I just batch cut them and batch sewed them as well. Trying them on at various points to check that I was happy with the fit and happy with the gathering on the tiers as well. There was a lot of gathering, especially on the maxi length dress. The uh, lilac one, I think it was about four and a half metres of hem that I needed to press um, and stitch in place as well once I'd finished sewing that up. But I'm really pleased with all of those dresses and they make me feel really good about myself um, and I just love twirling in them. So on to some fabric that I have been buying. Um, next Sunday I will have more fabric to share because I've sent out links to various shops um, to my family and friends for my birthday. So I will have more fabric to share with you next week but it will be almost like a birthday haul. Um, this fabric is from Felicity Fabrics and if you haven't ordered from them before, um, it always comes beautifully packaged in a lovely box that says Felicity Fabrics and then it's wrapped in tissue paper. It's always really lovely and then you also get... Um, handwritten note and then you also get a swatch of the fabric that you've ordered so there's a swatch for me so this one is pastel stitch it's 99% cotton and 1% polyester um, and then it also tells you about the care guide the width of the fabric and then the price as well so this was £12 per meter I got uh, I think I only got one meter of this no I got a meter and a half of this actually just looking at the receipt because they include the receipt as well it's absolutely beautiful. It's such a lightweight fabric. And this is going to become an Anna Allen Anthea blouse because I think this is just going to work so beautifully with the blouse. It's an absolutely beautiful fabric. It's so lightweight. It's a little bit see-through, like you can see my strawberry dress through it. But I think it's going to be perfect for a summer blouse. And it just moves so beautifully. Look at that drape. It's so floaty. And then if you can see, if I bring it forward, it's got pastel stripes running through it, which I think is such a subtle design. So I'm on the lookout at the moment for the perfect buttons. I'm going to have a look on Ethel and Joan because I love their buttons. I'll link them down below if you haven't shopped with them before, but they've got a beautiful selection. Um, I might have a look at Pigeon Wishes because they've got lots of but buttons on their website. Felicity Fabrics also do buttons, so I'll have a look there too. And when I go shopping today, I'll see if I can find some pastel buttons. I feel like I need lots of different coloured buttons going down the front of that blouse. Um, but that's what I'm going to turn that one into. Absolutely gorgeous and really lightweight, so I think it's going to be perfect for warmer weather. And then the next fabric that I've got is this gorgeous cotton fabric. Now, I got this cotton jersey fabric, although it feels like a viscose. I'll have to go back and check what it was. It's I think it might be a viscose jersey actually. It's really drapey and really bouncy. Um, and this is from a shop that, I've got the name written down. Um, this is from a shop that Purple Sewing Cloud, who is the lovely Samantha, shared ages ago on her stories. It's local to where she lives. So it's in Tynemouth. It's part of a shop called Raspberry Bazaar, which is a sort of emporium that sells lots of different things and gifts and things but they also have a small selection of fabrics and then they've also started a new instagram page which is now called Razbaz fabrics where they share all of their fabrics really incredible value this fabric was five pounds per meter and i got two meters of it so um it's absolutely beautiful i love all the colors um, so as I said, really good value um, fabric, but yeah, I really love all of those. It's kind of a bit like a gingham. I did say I'm loving gingham at the moment, but I love all of those sort of pastel colours. And then it's got like a brown stripe running through it as well. I've got a couple of metres of this and I'm thinking of turning into the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress because I've got enough of this fabric and I think it'd work really nicely as that faux wrap dress as well. Um, and the drape of this would work beautifully for that final gathered tear on the bottom of the dress if you sew up the maxi dress version. 
um but i'll link their shop down below so you can go and check them out but really good value fantastic customer service you just have a look on their page or their instagram page if you find a fabric you like the look of then you just send them a message and then they'll um invoice you through paypal um which is really great and the postage was really speedy as well so i'm really loving their fabrics i managed to restrain myself and just buy one at the moment but i'm looking forward to sewing with this and i think it'll make a really fun uh, maxi dress um for the summer so that's all of the fabrics that i've been buying i've got some labels that i'm going to talk to you about now and i shared these last week because i said that they'd released some more it's from a company called um the lemon patch there's their business card in a little box like this and you also get a little sweet treat that comes with your um labels and i talked about them releasing some more labels because i shared unique labels last weekend but then they released some labels called you're the zest which are super cute you see them there, it's a little lemon with its eyes closed. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I haven't opened them yet, but I'll open them so you can see what they look like properly. I just thought they were really cute um, little labels. So I ordered myself some of those to add into my label tin. Um, but I'll link them down below if you haven't checked them out yet. Really good service, um, speedy postage. And I just thought they were really cute labels as well. So I just thought I'd let you know about those. And then on to a pattern. So I've got a pattern here to talk to you about and it's by a company called Stay Stitch Patterns. Um, and they had a sale on this pattern. I saw it over on Instagram and I've been looking for a vest type pattern for a while. And it just so happened that this was on sale. I think it was something like five pounds. Um, and it's the Lola tank and dress. My daughter's called Lola. So I thought I have to have this pattern and it's what I've been looking for for a while. It's got a really interesting um, sort of shape to the neckline and to sort of the armhole pieces as well. I really loved the look of that. It's a really close fitting tank top, but you can also turn it into a dress. It's aimed at beginners. So it's a beginner knit tank and dress pattern. And then these are the different options. So you've got view A, which is slightly cropped, view B, which is slightly longer, and then view C, which is a dress. And I've just ordered some fabric or I sent a link to my husband for my birthday. Uh, some fabrics some, for some rib knit floral fabric from hey so sister i'll pop an image now of what that looks like and link it down below if they've got any left but i'm going to turn it into this version the dress version so i'm looking forward to giving that a go they describe the lila tank as um a dress or tank top that puts a chic modern twist on a basic knit tank it features a dramatically scooped arm psych a high neckline and has an option for a curved hem so yeah you've got that option on view b for the curved hem view a is a classic cropped tank view b features a gently curved hem and hits just above the hip and view c is a bodycon mini dress uh, midi dress sorry not mini dress so i'm looking forward to sewing this up but then i also thought view a would go really nicely with the sabina skirts that i've been sewing up but also some of the trousers from the Sawara set from by Friday Pattern Companies. I thought it could pair some cropped um, sort of vest tops with either of those for the summer. It's the perfect layering piece and can be dressed up or down. The pattern's designed to be beginner friendly and approachable. It can be sewn on either a sewing machine or a serger. Um, it's, it's drafted for someone who's five foot five and a B cup and it's designed to have a close fit and has negative ease. So in terms of sizes, it starts at a zero and goes up to a 28. So for a zero, it's an upper bust measurement of 28 inches, a bust measurement of 30 inches, waist measurement of 23 inches, and a hip measurement of 33 inches. And then for a 28, it's a 56 inch upper bust measurement, 58 inch bust measurement, 51 inch waist measurement and 61 inch hip measurement and then they've got some information there on how to take your measurement they've also got the finished garment measurements and then they've also got a fabric requirements chart as well in terms of recommended fabrics it says your fabric will need to have at least 60 to 75 percent stretch cross grain your fabric also must have good recovery if it does not the arm psych may gape please see the stretch guide on page seven to check the stretch of your fabric Try to choose a fabric with some spandex or lycra content. Fabrics that would work well with this pattern include a rib knit, bamboo jersey, modal jersey or rayon jersey. And it says to avoid um, knits with a high percentage of cotton, so 60% or over. They won't have enough recovery for this pattern. And you, if you do decide to use a knit fabric with a high cotton percentage, you may want to size down. You'll also need to shorten the armbands. So I'm looking forward to trying this. It's something that's... Um, 
very different to what I've been sewing at the moment. This is going to be a really close fitting pattern, um, but I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm really excited about sewing with some rib knit fabric as well. So hopefully it will arrive on Tuesday um, and I'll be able to open it as a present and I'll share it with you next weekend. Yeah, I thought it was a bargain, five pounds for that pattern. And you get those three different variations. And I think I'm definitely going to try all three, but I'm most excited about trying that, um, the dress. Let me show you again. I'm most excited about trying this one and then possibly this one. I'm not 100% sure about showing my belly, um, but I do think this would work with high-waisted trousers or high-waisted shorts and it'd be a really cute summer look. So the next thing I wanted to share with you is a sewing challenge that's running over on Instagram at the moment. I've talked about this challenge before, but it does feed into some of my plans over the next couple of weeks. I've always got loads of plans on the go anyway and lots of things that I want to sew um, but I'm definitely going to get these sewn up in the next couple of weeks before the challenge ends because um, I think they'll be quite speedy sews because it's just a couple of t-shirts that I want to sew up. So it's a lovely Jo who is so Joey over on Instagram and YouTube. I'll link all of her details down below but she's running a challenge called Sew a T-shirt for Summer where we're encouraged to sew a t-shirt or a t-shirt dress or a jumpsuit and post a photo of the make throughout the month of June using the hashtag t-shirt for summer which is the number four instead of the word for 2022. We're being encouraged to upcycle, use scraps or use recycled fabrics where possible um, and then make sure that you tag Jo once you share a photo of your make. So I've got a couple of fabrics here that I've had in my stash for ages. This one is really old because I got this from Material Girl Laura when she was um, selling fabrics. It's a really perfect cotton jersey for the summer. It's got um, people on deck chairs, it's got pelicans, it's got sun loungers, uh, it's got um, sort of glasses of lemonade. Um, I think it's really fun. It's got palm trees and yeah, I just think it's a really fun um, sort of summer print and I've had this for ages. I've got a meter of this so it's enough to turn it into a t-shirt pattern and the pattern that I'm probably going to use is one of my favourite t-shirt patterns which is the um, Tabitha t-shirt by Tilly and the Buttons. So that's the first fabric that I'm going to turn into a t-shirt for that challenge but I also think that will work really nicely with lots of things in my wardrobe and then I've got this sort of sprinkle effect cotton jersey. I can't remember where I got this from I feel like this might be from Like So Amazing, but I can't remember. It's a cotton jersey, and I think it's the perfect weight for a t-shirt as well. I really like that it's white, and it's got these sprinkles all over it, so I think it's going to go with lots of things in my wardrobe. And I'm going to use the Tabitha t-shirt pattern for that one as well. So I just wanted to let you know that that is running at the moment, and there's lots of prizes um, up for grabs as well if you enter that competition over on Instagram. So it's Sew a T-shirt for Summer 2022, and I've got two t-shirts that I'm definitely going to enter into that competition. Um, and then, what else have I got to share with you? So now I've got a YouTube channel that I've just discovered through the Friday Sews hashtag. So I search Friday Sews on YouTube when I want some videos to watch whilst I'm sewing usually on a Friday evening or a Saturday evening. I uh, didn't do any sewing last night because we started watching season four of Stranger Things, which is just amazing. We watched two um, episodes last night and I'm hoping next weekend we'll be able to watch another episode. Um, I'm absolutely loving Stranger Things. It's so exciting to have it back to watch. So the YouTube channel that I wanted to let you know about is the lovely Carol, who is so Carol on YouTube, and then she's so underscore Carol on Instagram. Um, really easy to watch. She takes part in Friday Sews, and then she's also got a vlog that I really enjoyed watching, which is Sewing for Men and Children, where she shares some patterns that she's used um, for men in her life, but also for children. So there's some really good ideas there as well. So do head over and give Carol a follow if you don't already over on YouTube, but also over on Instagram. Um, I've been really enjoying watching her videos. And then I just wanted to ask for some help or some suggestions. I know I ask on here a lot for ideas and suggestions and things, but I've got six weeks of the school term left until we finish for the summer holidays. And I always like to try and make something for my team. I've got quite a big team um, that I lead. I've got, um, I think there's about 15 of us all together. And I always like to try and make something, but I've got so many people that I need to make a gift for. I don't have to make a gift for them, but I do really enjoy using my sewing skills um, to create like an end of year thank you gift. Um, so I just wanted to get some suggestions and thoughts on things that I can sew up fairly quickly 
um, but make a really lovely gift for different people that I've got in my team. So I've got a mixture of teachers and support, learning support assistants um, and a mix of ages as well. So if anyone's got any suggestions of things that I can sew up that make great presents for people and I've got to make 15 of them, please do let me know in the comments below because I'd love to get your suggestions. And then the other thing I wanted suggestions for is I'm really keen to sew up a little bag. At the moment, I've got an over the shoulder bag um, that's fairly substantial in size where I pop my keys, my sunglasses, my phone, my purse, tissues, always got post-it notes in my bag too. Um, but it's just in a black fabric. Um, I just bought it from, I think I got it from Sainsbury's, but I'd really like to have a go at sewing up a couple of bags that can go with some of my garments. Um, I like having a bag that's either over the shoulder or a little backpack. I don't want it to be huge, but if anyone's got any suggestions of bag patterns that you've sewn up um, that you think I'd be able to have a go at, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd like to use a pattern that's been tried and tested by um, you guys, so please let me know if there's a pattern that you've used, you've enjoyed sewing it up, that I, you think I could have a go at sewing up, because I'm really keen. It's the one thing that I haven't tried sewing for myself, but I'm really keen to have a go at sewing up a couple of little bags that I can pop my essentials in when I'm going out for the day. So thank you for that in advance. And then I always like to finish with some sewing plans. So I've got lots of sewing plans as usual. I've talked about, let me just grab the fabric. Um, I've talked about um, sewing up some denim Persephone trousers, um, which is an Anna Allen pattern. And I'm going to be using this Choco denim fabric that I got from Felicity Fabrics. This was given to me um, because I'm going to be writing a blog post for them. Love blogging for Felicity Fabrics. They're such a wonderful team to work for. So I'm going to be using this Choco denim. I just need to get it cut out and start sewing that up. So I'm hoping to make a start on that this week and then I can get photos next weekend and have that blog written up. I love the Persephone trousers. They fit me really nicely and I worked really hard on my first pair to get the fit perfect. So I'm looking forward to sewing those up. I've got the t-shirts that I've already talked about and then I'm also going to be twirling the Friday Pattern Company Heather Blazer. I haven't twirled it yet and I've got some wool fabric that I got from New Craft House which is part of my Make Nine plans that I want to turn into some trousers and a blazer as like a little co set. So I have got some cotton poplin that I'm going to be using to twirl it. I had to look on the hashtag and I haven't seen anyone sew it up in a cotton poplin but I thought this would be the perfect fabric to twirl it in because it behaves it presses really beautifully and if it works then I would have a really lightweight blazer um, and I'm going to use it to sew up some shorts as well so I'm hoping to have a nice like summer style um, blazer and shorts as a twirl before I turn the wool that I've got into a blazer and some trousers and it's this fabric, can't remember where I got it from, but it's this cotton poplin, which I absolutely love. And I can really see this being like a blazer and some cute little shorts for the summer. Um, so I'm going to have a go at twirling the heather blazer. I've heard that it's a really straightforward blazer pattern to sew up. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Um, and then I've also got the, I talked about the larger dressing gown. I'm going to sew that up for my daughter. So I've got some jersey fabric uh, that I got from Sew Me Sunshine. I'm going to use that to sew a dressing gown for Lola. I'm yet to find the fabric that Ruby wants me to turn into a dressing gown for her. But I need to get that cut out and start sewing that as well. Because that should come together pretty quickly really for her. Um, so yeah, that's what my plans are. Lots of plans as usual. A couple of speedy sews. They're going to really enhance my wardrobe and a couple of things for other people as well in there. And then I've also got the flat cap that I'm in the process of sewing up for my husband as well, using the waves and wild pattern. And I'm really enjoying sewing that. So I'm hoping that it fits him. Um, and that's been a really enjoyable sew because it's something completely different to what I normally sew as well. So that was everything that I wanted to share with you. Thank you as always for coming back and watching my videos and liking them and commenting. I really do appreciate your support. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, it'd be really great if you could hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified when I bring out my next video. Thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.